Dear Eric, it's finally happening. The day I think we both had a feeling would come a few months after we met that summer. Throughout the past three and a half years, you have enriched my life in ways I could never have imagined. You've supported my wildest dreams and ideas and have always had a hug ready on the bad days. There's nothing in this world that brings me as much contentment or happiness as dancing together in our kitchen or creating a knot of our limbs as we cuddle into one another. You are the man I could never have dreamed of marrying and also my perfect person. I cannot wait for our love story to continue, for our family to grow, and for our misadventures together. You are my forever, eternally yours, Andriana. My love, I can't believe this day is finally here. From day one, I knew we had found something special. I keep thinking back to our first I love you, only a month into dating, and it seems like this was destined from the start. The last four years have been defined by change in every facet of the word. We have grown together in this period in such a beautiful way, combining personal growth with growth as a couple. I feel so incredibly lucky that I get to wake up to every day and begin to raise a family together for the rest of our lives. I can't wait for this next chapter together and every single chapter after. You're simply the best. Love, Eric. It's With you, I get to live a kind of love that is so constant and so stable and simple in its effortlessness that sometimes it takes my breath away and I wonder how we got so lucky. Today, we start our next adventure together as one unit, one family. Today, I make promises to you that I will endeavor to keep and stay true to for the remainder of our lives. Eric and Adriana, we come together as your community today to help you harness that limitlessness as you launch into the next chapter of your lives. We wish you an endless supply of hazy summer afternoons and lazy Sunday mornings. We wish that as you grow old together, the joy of foreverness remains evergreen, that you're consistently finding ways to lose yourself in time and in doing so, transcending the dictates of it. And most importantly, that your eternal love always holds the cosmic spark that ignited it on the dance floor. Oh. Before I promise you the world, I want to share what makes you the most special and incredible woman that I've ever met, and how easy it has been to love you since the day you stepped into my life at Federales. <laughs> I love you for your joy for life, the smile I get to wake up to every day, a belly laugh when Riley does something stupid, when you try your hardest not to laugh at my obviously hilarious dad jokes. <laughs> You make my life so incredibly rich every single day just by being yourself.
I promise to support your dreams and do everything in my power to manifest them, to comfort and counsel you, and to encourage you to see your own brilliance and strength. I promise to trust and value your opinions, to approach our disagreements with openness and grace, and to hold your hand as we talk through our differences. I want to promise you the world, but for now, here's what I will promise you. I promise to build a happy and loving home with you and Riley and our future growing family. I promise to push myself to grow, both in my understanding of myself and understanding of us. I promise to always be honest, faithful, and open with you. I promise to make sure you never forget how beautiful you are both inside and out. And I promise to never stop loving you in the way you deserve to be loved. I promise to help shoulder the challenges that will come our way and celebrate the little wins as we build a life together. And while I cannot promise to be the perfect wife, I promise to love you in good times and bad without hesitation or boundaries from this day to my last. You are my best friend in my home and I'm the luckiest person in the world to be able to call you mine. I love you. of your love and commitment to one another and the power vested in me by the internet. I now declare you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Adriana, while you've no doubt been a part of our family for quite a while now, today you entered new territory. You're officially stuck with us. Seriously, what a pleasure it has been to grow closer to you. But most importantly, it is so nice to see the beautiful relationship that you and Eric have and just how happy he has been since he met you. Thank you for loving our son. I'm just shamelessly taking this as a comment to say after we declared it the best Cheerio, they went on to make four new flavors of Oat Crunch Cheerio, and your relationship is the fifth flavor. Oh. Here is to an amazing new chapter together, full of SoCal Sun, lots and lots of Riley, and Cheerios. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> impression of Eric was he's handsome, polite, warm, and not a pretentious kind of guy. As I got to know more about Eric, he filled my heart with joy and happiness that Andrea had found a good and caring man to spend her life with. A lot of love to Eric and Andriana. Raise your glass. Raise a class, everyone. Let's toast to Eric and Adriana. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and old-fashioned enough to last forever. Cheers. Yeah.